Hey everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. So about a year ago, I shared a video with three of my favorite tofu recipes at the time. You guys seem to really enjoy that, so today we are revisiting the topic, and this is going to be my first in a series of three videos featuring tofu. Today we're starting off with my personal favorite of the three recipes. This is crispy sesame tofu. Super simple ingredients, easy, cheap, and depending, <laughs> depending on what sauce you pair it with, it actually make a pretty, fairly healthy dinner, lunch, snack, appetizer, what have you. So I hope that you enjoy. If you can get your hands on it, I would highly recommend using high protein or super firm tofu. It's just the kind that comes vacuum packed rather than in the carton with water, simply because it's lower in moisture, so it's gonna make it easier for breading to crisp up nicely. If you can't find this, totally fine. I would recommend just taking your firm or extra firm tofu, wrapping it in a clean towel, and then pressing it with some heavy weights, a couple cans on there, uh, for about 30 minutes to an hour, just to firm it up, get rid of the extra moisture. So feel free to cut your tofu in any way you like. You can do cubes, steaks, fingers, <laughs> nuggets, no one's stopping you. I like to make them kind of smaller because the smaller they are, the more breading there is per tofu. You know, it's about the ratios. So I cut them into triangles today. I thought they would be cute. I have breaded so many things on my channel. So if you are a frequent viewer, hi, I love you. And this is not gonna be a foreign process to you, but just in case you're new here, um, I always dredge things in cornstarch. <laughs> and I just have a pinch of salt in here. And then I have panko breadcrumbs. I like the panko crumbs better because they get a little bit crispier. And to this, I'm gonna add a combination of garlic and onion powder. I've got a little bit of nutritional yeast. You can skip this if you don't have it, but I think it just adds extra flavor because it is quite a plain breading on its own. And then, this is what makes it kind of fancy. Um, this is a mixture of sesame seeds. I've got black and white roasted sesame seeds. If you just have the white, it's fine. The black is more for aesthetic purposes. Give it a quick whisk. I closed the drawer on my favorite whisk, so now the orange wire is bent and it makes me sad. But um, I also have just some unsweetened soy milk. Any plant milk works. You can even use water in a pinch. And um, very straightforward process here. First, we're just going to throw all of our tofu pieces into our cornstarch, give it a thorough toast, um, really coat it with cornstarch. Then, take our tofu and dip it in our soy milk really quick. Shake off the excess, really do this because too much extra liquid drips into the panko, it starts to absorb it and then it doesn't want to stick to your tofu. That's kind of a hassle. And then you gotta dump out all your panko and start over. We don't want that. So now we're going to coat our tofu, then set it aside. I have a lined baking tray right here, trust me. Um, so we're just gonna continue to do that with the rest of our tofu. Pretty, pretty boring. You guys recommended having one dipping hand and then one designated breading hand so that you don't end up breading your fingers and it works. <laughs> you guys are much smarter than I am, so thank you for that bit of wisdom. I'm gonna pause and preheat my oven to 450 right now. Um, I should have been preheating it all along, but my oven's really loud and I didn't want it to interfere with my voice. So I'm doing it now. A couple ways that you can cook these guys, you can shallow fry them on the stove in oil. You can bake them, which is what I'm doing today because I know most of you will probably do that. But um, this smells exactly like a ramen seasoning packet. It smells so good. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> uh, if you happen to have an air fryer, that's actually my favorite way to cook these because um, basically the same like crispy end result as if you were to bake them. You don't need to use oil, um, but it's much faster than using the oven. Spread them out on our baking tray. If you're cooking these in an air fryer, you'll probably need to do multiple batches, but just try and like either stand them up like this next to each other or just make sure you leave space between them so that the air can travel through and crisp up all the sides evenly. Okay, now what I like to do when I'm baking something that has breading or batter on it is just hit it with a really quick spritz of oil. This is olive oil, uh, totally optional. I just think it helps it round and crisp up a little bit nicer, um, but you can skip this. Yeah, and I'm just gonna pop it in my oven for 15-ish minutes, keep an eye on it. We are back. It's actually been 
kind of a while because I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a siren going off in the apartment complex across the street from me. It's been going off for like an hour. So I was gonna wait it out, but I'm hungry and these are now cold. So we're gonna do a taste test now. Here is our crispy sesame tofu. I should put it on a plate so it looks good. <laughs> cool. So you can use any type of dipping sauce that you like. My favorite personally for this is sweet chili sauce. Um, I actually don't like the Trader Joe's kind as much as I like the kind that I usually get from the Asian market by May, my ploy. <laughs> but I also just picked up from Trader Joe's some of this gyoza dipping sauce. This is, um, it actually says on here, a classic Asian dipping sauce for everything Asian. So uh, this is just soy sauce, rice vinegar, sesame oil, cilantro, and crushed pepper. So I'm gonna try this for the first time right now. Okay, okay, I dig this. I prefer the chili sauce though. This is just one of those recipes where the ingredients are so simple, but it's really good. I think wasabi or sriracha mayo would also make a really good dipping sauce for this. Or if you wanted something lighter using like a ponzu, I think that could be good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> While I stop salivating. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. If you try it out, make sure to tag me in a photo on Instagram. I do my best to like and comment on those when I see them. I am more likely to see them if you actually tag me in it rather than just adding me though. Um, I'm going to be posting two more tofu recipes over the course of the month and I'll have them linked down below if I've already done that if you're watching this in, the f in my future. That makes sense, right? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.